Well, it may not look much, but actually this is housing some amazing equipment that is researching the Alpine Fault, Carolyn. There's a drilling project that this is all protecting. That's right, yeah. A few years ago, a team of scientists from New Zealand and around the world came to this site to drill a hole down into the Alpine Fault. It was called the Deep Fault Drilling Program. And this was really exciting because it was bringing scientists from you know, Japan and the US and they were all doing their own drilling of their faults and they were trying to work with us to compare some of their results with our big Alpine Fault. It's really exciting. Mm. So what are you trying to find out by drilling into the fault? Well the scientists were drilling down into the fault and then putting a whole lot of instruments and things down the hole including a seismometer and a thermometer to measure the temperature and the pressure and stuff like that. And that helps understand, you know, when earthquakes happen, maybe there are some things that lead up to an earthquake happening. And it might one day, well into the future, help us predict when earthquakes might happen. So how would it help predict them? Well, there might be a change in the temperature of the, the fluid down the hole, or there might be some little tiny earthquakes that happen before a, a bigger event happens. It could be any of those things, but at the moment scientists don't really understand what leads up to a big earthquake happening. So you're looking for those earthquake signals and it could give us some warning but how much warning are we talking about? Yeah, so this site is really interesting because it's down at the southern end of the fault and as an earthquake happens down here it pushes the seismic energy up towards the northeast, towards Nelson and, and Wellington. And as that happens it takes some time to, to roll out so it might be two or three minutes before it gets to Wellington and if we can uh, register that, uh, that an earthquake's happened here, it might give us some early warning of the earthquake heading towards our other towns to the north of here. So that data is shared and you can see some of the equipment that allows that to happen on the, the mm. roof here. It's obviously quite a scary place to be in a flood though, this, this area has yeah. been quite damaged. Yeah look at this, it's all been whacked into by rocks and logs and boulders as it's come down the, down the valley here. It's a very dynamic place to be. And of course in here is all this exciting science equipment and it's beaming all of that data that it collects um, up through the satellite here using the, uh, you know, the solar panels to, to power it all and off that science goes up to Wellington and across the world to do some exciting science on the Alpine Fault. And it's all locked up and protected so we can't show you inside but it's awesome to hear what scientists have been up to in the area. Thanks Carol. Yeah, it's exciting.